There's a lot of water in the world. It's not drifting off into space or leaking down into the center of the earth. It's a closed cycle. So why are we experiencing scarcity in so many places and hearing about peak water and water footprints? The water cycle is too big and too spread out in time for us to grasp it easily. So we'll use this precision apparatus to show how a little piece of it works to understand why we experience water scarcity as well as flooding. To get to real world conditions, you'll have to add lots of zeros. We have eight ounces of water. We have a little cup with holes in the bottom to simulate rainfall. We have containers with spouts made out of two liter soda bottles with holes in the bottom to let wet soil drip down. And then we have glasses here to catch the runoff. We'll start with a bucket of dirt, and we're going to fill these containers with dirt up to the level of the spout. And we're going to firm the dirt like it is on real ground and we want these exactly to the level of the spout on both containers, just the same. And on one of these containers, we're going to use a handful of powdered horse manure as a soil covering. And this is like dead weathered plants and stuff, pretty fine stuff. And we're going to firm this up too, just like real plant litter on soil. Now we're ready for the rain. We have covered soil and bare soil. First we'll try the rain on the bare soil. Here's our simulated rainstorm. Now we'll do it on the covered soil. Same amount of water, 8 ounces, our simulated rainstorm. We have much less runoff off of the covered soil and it's generally cleaner than from the bare soil. And what we're seeing here is the soil has become saturated and now it's dripping on through. This is equivalent to groundwater recharge where the soil is able to absorb and retain enough moisture and allow it to percolate on through to groundwater. This is what causes wells, springs to flow. On the bare soil, there is no groundwater recharge. On the bare ground, there is almost twice as much runoff as from the covered ground. This is the difference over millions of acres between catastrophic flooding and falling water tables with no recharge 
versus adequate runoff, steadier over time, groundwater recharge, moist soil capable of nourishing plants and crops. The secret to an effective water cycle is covered soil. We can't do that with technology. We have to do it with management. Things like grazing management, controlling the timing of livestock grazing so that there's plenty of ground cover and keeping in mind that practices such as tillage and burning or fire tend to destroy ground cover and leave ground bare. Now they've been out in the sun for a few hours. The surface of the bare soil is now partially dry, whereas the covered soil retains plenty of moisture. In order to rectify the situation, we typically use technology, pumps, dams, irrigation pipes, things like that, to try to get keep the soil moist so it can keep on growing crops. We better, we better use a high, higher horsepower pump here. Will this technology solve the real problem? No, but dams and bigger irrigation systems will temporarily relieve the symptoms. The problem is wasted rainfall. On the bare soil, we are not able to capture the rain that falls. Most of it runs off and little is left to replenish groundwater supplies. In addition, moisture evaporates much faster and more readily from bare soil than from covered soil. So the waste and the scarcity are even worse.